America is back in the lead of a new space race. On February 6th, the world watched as the Falcon Heavy blasted off and then returned its reusable booster rocket safely to Earth in perfect synchronization. This time, it wasn't NASA or the federal government. It was SpaceX, a private company founded by Elon Musk. Falcon Heavy, which began development only seven years ago, is now the most powerful operational rocket in the world by a factor of two. While this launch placed a Tesla Roadster into orbit around the sun, the Falcon Heavy is actually capable of hauling a staggering 140,000 pound payload. That's about 46 Roadsters. Future cargo will include satellites and astronauts, possibly even those heading to Mars. But SpaceX isn't alone in this new space race. Fellow billionaire Jeff Bezos is biting at Elon's heels. His company Blue Origin is currently constructing their newest rocket, the New Glenn, in a Florida factory. This giant rocket, taller than the Falcon Heavy but slightly less powerful, will carry cargo and humans into space. United Launch Alliance has been around for a little while and today are linked with the giant defense contractor Lockheed Martin. ULA's newest planned rocket, the Vulcan, could rival Falcon Heavy's power with the addition of a third stage. NASA has been developing their new rocket, the SLS, or Space Launch System, for years. It can be configured for many different types of missions, including a manned mission to Mars and features massive cargo capacity. Once completed, it will be by far the most powerful rocket ever built. The problem? It's been racked with delays and the cost of each launch is more than 10 times the Falcon Heavy. Competition and profit from the free market are shaping up to make this new space race completely different. President Trump recently signed the Space Policy Directive 1, a change in national space policy that pushes for cooperation with private sector partners for human return to the moon, followed by missions to Mars. This directive may see NASA scrapping their SLS in favor of these private solutions. When the first human steps foot on Mars, it will be one of the most historic days in history, and the rocket that takes us there might just have been built by a private company.